Good morning to you and a very warm welcome as we meet together to pray on our daily benefits prayers. Everything's back to normal this week, well as normal as is possible to be under the current circumstances, which means that we'll be doing benefits prayers Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday we will be streaming from All Saints Church in Landaff North and that will be at 2pm in the afternoon. And on Thursday we will stream from St Mary's Church at 10am in the morning. So you're very welcome to join us for those services uh, throughout this week. So it's 10 a.m. today and tomorrow, 2 p.m. on Wednesday and 10 a.m. on Thursday. Friday, hopefully, is my day off, but um, we'll wait and see whether that happens. So I look forward to you joining me throughout the week, either for worship here from the rectory or in the church, depending on which day it is. I'm going to set you a challenge today. It's a time of year when everybody's thinking about New Year's resolutions and thinking about things they can be proactive with. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to invite you very simply to just keep an eye on yourself today. And for every positive statement or thought that you have, I want you to say thank you to God. And for every negative thought or statement that you have, I want you to say sorry to God. Now, hopefully the former will outweigh the latter by the end of the day. But it's an interesting challenge for each of us, it gives us an opportunity to look at ourselves, to look inwardly and discover, are we thankful people? Are we positive? Are we grateful for our, God's blessings in our lives? Um, or are we um, in danger of straying into sin? Are we in danger of only focusing on the negatives and not seeing the blessings and the riches that God has given to each of us in our lives? So just for the next 12 hours, uh, just throughout the day, <coughs> excuse me, we won't count your dreams, so we'll let you off when you're sleeping. So throughout the day, um, just keep an eye on those positive and negative thoughts today. If you want to, make a count, do a tally, and at the end of the day, have a look whether you are more positive or in a more negative mood at the moment. And that will give you an indication of whether your prayer life is being fruitful and whether you are being positive in your relationship with God or whether you have things to look at and address in order to get to that point. So the positives and the negatives, count them up, uh, see how you get on for the day and see hopefully that the former um, comes to the fore rather than the latter. And now then on to our daily benefits prayers. I'm just going to get my dog to sit in his bed first, otherwise you'll hear click clack all the way. Pip, go in your bed. Go on. In your bed. Go and sit down. Go on. Good boy. Sorry about that, but um, two dogs in the rectory here with me and um, sometimes they wander about in the middle of the service. So hopefully you'll stay put for the next few minutes. We'll see what happens. So on to our benefits prayers. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Almighty God, you fed your people in the wilderness, and guided them by cloud and fire, giving commandments to order their lives. Give us eyes to see your purpose, perseverance to follow where you lead, and courage to know the truth that sets us free, that our lives may be blessed and your will may be done. Blessed be God forever. We say together the canticle. Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your life laid down on the cross, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your faithful people. Make yourself known as our Saviour and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. God speaks to his people through the prophet Isaiah. <coughs> Do not fear, for I am with you. <coughs> Do not be afraid, for I am your God. <coughs> I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. <clears throat> this is my comfort in my trouble. Your promise gives me life. We say together, God the Father, have mercy on us. God the Son, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. <clears throat> 
Let us pray. Be exalted, Lord, above the heavens. May your glory cover the earth. Renew your church in holiness and give your people the blessing of peace. Keep our nations under your care and guide us in justice and truth. Let your way be known on earth, your saving power among all nations. Do not let the needy, O God, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Guide those who serve in public office, that they may work for the common good. Shelter those who suffer from hunger, sickness or loneliness, that the presence of Christ may bring them health and wholeness. I commend myself and all for whom I pray to the mercy and protection of God. Amen. As our Saviour Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, <coughs> who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O God, you know us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers, that by reason of the frailty of our nature we cannot always stand upright. <coughs> Grant us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me for our daily benefits prayers. I'm inviting you for your personal prayers today simply to keep an eye out on your thought pattern and to say a prayer of thanksgiving for each time that you have a positive thought or a comment to make about someone and to say a prayer of contrition to say sorry to God um, whenever you have those invasive negative thoughts um, coming into your mind and keep a check on how they go through the day and see which is the largest total. Hopefully, with God's support and blessing, you will find that you're far more positive than negative. Um, we all have those negative thoughts. It's part of daily life. Uh, it's what we do with them that's important. And that is, of course, don't hold on to them. Let them go. As the Bible says, be angry, but do not sin. Don't let the sun go down on your anger. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning for our benefits prayers at 10am. God bless and goodbye.